Yep. Oh my God, this is crazy. No, he's not done. Oh, someone's got it, I think. Oh my God, no way. No way, I just got here. You guys can't really see it, but we got our first carp. It's a little bit smaller than the one we caught yesterday, but still very decent sized one. No, 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 no. Nope, hook just came out. This one's got some fight in it. Oh my God, I just spit the hook. I should have loosened out my drag. Oh my God, no way. No freaking way. Third, third carp. That thing just came out of nowhere. Woo! What is going on guys? How are you guys doing? Today we're starting the day off at the pond. You guys remember I was fishing here last couple weeks ago and I caught some bluegill for a different video. I was going after some catfish, but today doing something a little bit different. We're not going after bluegill, we're going after some carp. I've caught almost every species in this uh, pond except for the elusive uh, koi fish and the um, snakehead, which I haven't really targeted snakehead that much. I don't really want to go after a snakehead because I don't really have any equipment to handle snakehead. But if I do catch one, that'd be awesome. But the koi fish, the koi fish is what I really want to catch today. There used to be like this giant koi fish in here as tall as me. I was probably way over five foot. So you know that's pretty big fish. I missed that my opportunity for that fish. I don't know what happened to it. I guess it died off, but it did leave behind some offspring. So hopefully I can catch it. For some reason, like whenever I try to toss it in front of the koi, it always like darts off somewhere else. It never wants to do anything with your bait. I'm not sure what to use, how to catch them. If you guys know, I mean, I've heard that you can just, it's the same thing with carp fishing. You can catch them on a piece of bread, but I just haven't had luck with that. And today's just gonna be a normal like fishing day. I'm not gonna do anything special. I was going to use three different baits, but that I'll save that for another video. I wanna keep it a little, little secret. I'm not gonna tell you guys what baits I'm gonna be using. I will tell you that I am gonna be, one of the baits is bread, just because I'm using bread today. It's super early in the morning. It's like almost 10 o'clock. So hopefully we can catch some carp today and you guys stay tuned because this hopefully will be a good video. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can see any carp. No, yesterday, there weren't that many on this side. There was uh, that koi fish and that other one that was swimming together. I, I guess all the fish, like, for some reason, around this time of the year, they all end up on the other side of the pond. That must be, like, their spawning side. I wonder if the bluegill and sunfish spawn during the, when the carp are spawning, too. They probably do, because all of them, like, there's literally, like, barely any fish on this side. All of them are on this side. This is where I caught that carp on the left side of this pond. Oh my God, got him, got a carp. Gotta tighten my drag up. This one's not really fighting that hard. Wonder where I hooked him. I'm trying to tire him out. I'm gonna walk him along the bank. Oh, there he goes. Ah, oh, this is a nice size one. Pretty too. I'm gonna bring him right here. Oh, that's all mud. Try to turn him. Oh, there's another one with him. Yeah, I hooked him in the mouth. I just want this thing to pull, peel some drag right now. It almost spoiled me, but it doesn't look like it's going to do that. Let's see if I can get this up right here. I'm trying to get my hands in its gill so I can bring it up. Oh, there we go. Holy crap. That is a decent sized one. It's not my biggest carp I've caught out of this pond, but it's definitely super pretty. It's got some dark colors on it. I wish I had my big camera, but I don't have my tripod. Forgot to bring it, but we finally, after three hours, we finally was able to catch one. I just cast it out there. I didn't really sight cast it, and this one picked it up, and another one was swimming with it, so I think it has a partner. So I'm gonna go, here go the same route, see if we can catch another fish. There's not much, like, action going on, though, because yesterday they were, like, going crazy like a bunch of them are splashing along this uh side of the bank here oh my god that kind of scared me a little bit okay so i just scared off a carp there was a carp right there but look i was trying to say there was a bunch splashing along the bank and there was a bunch swimming around but i'm not really seeing they're not really active today there's a few car i can see a few carp over there there's three or four so I set myself down and see if we can catch some of them Okay, move sides. 
see if I, it makes a difference. All the carp are on this side when I was on the other side, but of course, I've noticed that before, last time, or a couple of times I've been here, every time I switch sides, they always move to the side that I was at previously. So it's kind of like a chasing game, how to find where they're at. Oh my, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a snakehead. There's at least 20. I should be able to cast him. This rod, like, it's not casting very well. I also don't want to cast too close to them, like right over top of them. I want to probably a little bit in front of them so they can see, like, so they don't get scared off and they can see it, like, you know, fall down. They might, you know, go after it. There's like three right over top of my line, though. Oh, someone's got it, I think. Oh my god, no way. No way, I just got here. No way. I got a carp. Tighten up my drag a little bit. Oh my god. This one's fighting a little bit. Shoot, he's under the tree. Try to bring him this way. Well, this one's got some fight in it. Oh, that's a de oh, it's one of the older ones. This is a decent sized one. It's not as big as the one that I caught yesterday. Definitely a beautiful fish. Still a nice catch. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Try to get it a little bit closer, tire it out, and then I can bring it in. Don't go that way trying to turn its head nope, he's not done I should loosen up the drag a little bit Got him. Get him unhooked, film it a little bit, and then send her back off. I gotta get it back in the water quickly because it's bleeding a little bit. This fish was not going anywhere. It took good. guys can't really see it but we got our first carp it's a little bit smaller than the one we caught yesterday but still very decent sized one it's bleeding a little bit so I gotta uh, film this real quick and then put her back this is it looks like it's a uh, it's got some damage on it so it's possibly that it's a little bit older or it's been splashing around doing some spawning and it looks like it uh, nicked itself a couple times not my fastest time I've caught a carp before but I caught this one faster than the one yesterday and it paid off changing sides really paid off actually started on the other sides like I wasn't on that side for very long and came to this side and we finally got one but I'm gonna put her back because she is bleeding a little bit and this is awesome decent size and a strong fighter for sure but we're gonna put her back now and there it goes got me all dirty look at that it's worth it though I think three or four carp would be a perfect amount, but if I don't catch that amount of uh, carp, 
then I'm gonna show you guys some of the uh, order footage that I have saved on my computer. But you guys stay tuned because hopefully we can get another fish. I, I know I said it wasn't a guaranteed, but hey, I already caught one, so maybe we can catch another one, who knows? I'm just gonna let it sit there and see if a fish swims by and decides to pick it up. I think that's what happened to the um, the last one I just caught. Oh no 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 no! That had to that had to have been a bluegill. Something did have my bait. I don't think it was a carp. The way it was it was nibbling at it, whereas a carp would just suck it up and then dart off. I think that was a bluegill, or it could have been a snakehead. I'm not sure how snakehead eat. I'm not sure if they're aggressive as carp. I'm sure they are. But they probably don't fight as hard as carp do. Someone have it again? I think I just yeah, I think someone has it again. Just saw my line move a little bit. No freaking way. Second carp, wait. No way. No way, no way, no way. What is this? Is this a four? No, it's a smaller carp. Okay. But two carp in one day. I know that sounds like that's not too crazy, but for me, that's only happened one other time. Let's see if I can get this one in. It's a little bit smaller than the last one I just caught. This one's got some fight in it. Oh my god, I just spit the hook. I should have loosened out my drag. Well, I just lost the carp. Uh, that usually doesn't happen, but I uh, my drag wasn't really... Um, I didn't have it loose enough, so it uh, spit the hook. And, uh, god, that really sucks. That would have been two, That would have been my second time catching two carp in one day. I know that doesn't sound like entirely crazy for your uh, carp fisherman. If you are a carp fisherman and you're watching this, it's probably not crazy to you. But for me, I've only caught two carp one other time in one day. That one was a little bit smaller, so it still sucks, but it's not a big deal. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves and catch another one. That might be a little too big of a piece of bread, but we're going to try it out. Loosened up my drag a little bit this time. He must have not been hooked very well. That usually doesn't happen. It only happened one other time because I was trying to, I was like on a cliff, like on the side here, trying to bring it up and there was rocks along the bank. I, w I was kind of like wrestling with it. It was splashing around and I was trying to bring it up and I didn't really know how to bring it up. And it, uh, I think it spit the hook. I'm not sure if I have that footage anymore. I like fall to the ground trying to reach for it. That's only my second time I've lost a carp at the bank. That one wasn't really at the bank. It was probably a couple feet away, but it still sucks to lose the fish. Oh my god, no way. No freaking way. Third carp. That thing just came out of nowhere. Where's this one going? I don't know where this one's going. The first carp that I caught, I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna walk the bank, tire it out. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I thought I just lost it. It looks like it's hooked on the side a little bit. I can't really tell quite yet. No, it's hooked on its mouth. Okay, so it did eat it. It's got that same markings on the side. I don't think this is the same fish. It's just, no, it's a little bit smaller. It's not the same fish. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. So he shouldn't be able to go anywhere. I'm not gonna drag him up. I don't wanna break my rod. No, 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 no. Nope, hook just came out. Oh my God, that was crazy. The hook literally just came out. I'm all muddy. That was insane. This one, yeah, this isn't the same carp. It's a little bit uh, smaller, but it's got the same markings on the side. Okay, so we uh, redeemed ourselves. It's got the same markings on it, I think. On this side, it's got one mark. Oh, it's got a nice sized chunk out of his head. I wonder what that's from. It's probably from spawning, but it was kind of strange because I didn't even like see it like come by my bait. I saw my line like moving. I was kind of distracted, so I didn't really see the fish come up to it. The small ones are definitely fighters for sure. The big ones don't really fight that much. Well, that last one I just caught did, but this one, this one had a little, like for the size it is, it actually fought pretty hard. These are some beautiful fish. I can't, can't believe this is happening because this is the second, I've only caught two carp in one day, one other time. This one looks about this, maybe a little bit bigger than that one I lost, but it certainly is a nice sized fish. Beautiful fish too. All right, there she goes. Stuff does not want to stay on the hook. All right, I think we got it that time. I already got some stuff munching. Oh, there's a decent sized carp right by the bread that I just threw in the water. It looks it looks like it's just bluegill that are eating the bread. 
but maybe a carp will swim by and see the bread on top of the water. I don't want to spot one before I cast that. I don't want these bluegill messing with my bait or messing with the bait on my hook. If I do catch another carp, I'll make sure to get the release on my GoPro instead of doing an Instagram story. Speaking of which, I think something has it. Yep. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god, this one's really strong. This one is a fighter. Third fish. I've, this has never happened before. I'm going to bring her up over here so my big camera can see it. Never mind. I'm going to go this way. Oh, it's coming back this way. Okay, I don't really know yet. This fish is all over the place. It's a really skinny carp. I've never seen a carp this skinny before. And it's got the same markings on it again. This is, this is crazy. I, I, I'm lost of words. Third fish, fourth fish I've hooked. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Easy as that, came right out. What? Guys, I am lost of words. This is a third fish, never done that before. Three carp in one day, four of them hooked. I'm not gonna talk about this one too much. She's a little small, that's why I don't really wanna talk about her, but still a very nice catch. This time, let's get a good release on her and not worry about doing an Instagram story. I gotta go to deeper water. This looks deeper here, but of course it's like the muddiest spot. And she's off. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! This is crazy. Three fish, same area. I'm just casting out there. I'm not sight casting. And all of the carp are stacked up right in the corner of this pond. Unbelievable. And I got a little bit more muddy with that one. Really muddy, actually. Insane day of fishing. Unbelievable. Caught three carp in one day, which I've never done before. We caught one two days ago, almost four today. So that's five, five fish in total in this video. But we're going to sign out right now. End the video. As always, if you guys have any ideas of videos you want me to create or want me to catch in the next video, please let me know. I challenge videos, uh, regular fishing days, whatever you have, please let me know down below. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.